Hello, subscribers and future subscribers. I'm Karma Jolt. This game is Chrono Trigger for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, and we are about to do it. Last we left off, uh, some shit about a bird. Let's go! Oh yeah, and our time machine now has wings so it can fly, which isn't the most impressive part of it. Hey, Barb's gotta be somewhere. I'll find him. Yeah, let's do it. Let's look around for... I mean, he's probably dead, first of all, but secondly, are we gonna find him on foot when, like, we could be flying, like, literally the only, uh, airborne vehicle in the world? Like, you don't think he'd recognize us flying around in the air in this... in this time machine that we've all been in together? I mean, it's got wings now, so it looks slightly the same. Oh shit, wait, I know what's about to happen, so I think I want to change my party members. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm pretty sure Barf is dead and we're not getting it back. Oh shit, it's Magus! I wouldn't have guessed that, so it's you. Ah, it is! How did he know? Magus! <laughs> I like how Stop drew his, thor his sword right through, um, Weed's legs. She's fine. Behold, everything's at the bottom of the sea. Gone is the magical kingdom of zeal, and all the dreams and ambitions of its people. And also its people. I once lived there, but I was another person then. I bet his voice is something like Piccolo from Dragon Ball Z. Because you know he's the same character. Hmm, a dimensional warp. Golly, wouldn't you know it? This power is beyond human control. No, we'll be dragged into the warp. Shala. It's Scala. Oh my gosh. No, Janice, stay away. B but? But what? Stay the fuck away. There's about to be like an explosion or some shit. Dumbass, get out of here. Wow. This crazy hedgehog thing. It's. It's a. What? Just say it. A time gate? Yep, that's what it is. Everyone's getting sucked into some portals. No! Oh no, I'll never have to see any of you jackasses again. It's not that big of a deal. It's not that much of a punishment or anything. Siskala! No, the one person who knows how to pronounce my name is gone, Janice! Or was it Janus? Ah, well, he's in another dimension or time or whatever, so I guess I can't ask him. Anyway, that was a flashback. It was a crazy detailed flashback. That I guess Magus is just explaining, or he's like projecting it somehow. Like, hey, read my thoughts and see all the images. The this is, hey, that's how you know it's the guy from the end of time because he says the word hey a lot, like he does during the game. He says it here, so that it's like, oh, I made the connection. Nothing here. This must be the end of time. You can call it whatever you want. I'm pretty sure at this point because like nobody lives there. You can come up with a name for it. But yeah, Janice went back to the medieval times or whatever. So, thou art... Thou art that... Thou art that filthy urchin. Jeez, calm down. He was just a kid back then. Ever since Lavos's time portal stranded me in the Middle Ages, I have waited to even the score. You interrupted me just when I had summoned Lavos to my cast hole. How ironic that having been drawn into yet another portal, I would end up in this age. Yeah, you know, that's pretty unlikely. The chances of that are infinitesimally small, I would believe. I'd say the, the, the probability is astronomically low, somewhere around, I don't know, zero. That's according to my calculation. I mean, think of all the times that have had existed and will exist in this dimension you could have gotten transported to any of them but like wow what a crazy coincidence that you happen to be back you know in your own lifetime anyway being from the future my knowledge of the past enabled me to convince the queen that i was a mighty oracle instead of just like a regular cut rate oracle like all those other oracles that i had to compete with in the kingdom but no history book could have prepared me for what happened here. I needed the internet. Unimaginable is the power of Lavos. Anyone who dares to oppose it meets certain doom. 
At this rate, you too will meet a hideous fate, just like that poor fool, Barf. Hey, he's not poor. Uh huh? You dare insult him? Oh my gosh, calm down. He's history. Play with fire and you get burned. Magus, hold thy tongue. Oh my gosh, he's just embarrassing himself here. He's like one of the guys who gets pissed off when somebody taunts in Smash Bros. Like, who the hell takes that seriously? Insecure high schoolers, that's who. You wish to fight me? Yeah, by the way, if you fight him and beat him here, you get, like, some dumb accessory. But, if you say no and you don't fight him, he'll join your party and you'll get that dumb accessory or whatever. Because he comes equipped with it. Vanquishing thee will neither return Barf nor Cyrus. I'm pretty sure that's true. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe you get something else if you fight him. Anyway, fuck off. I'm looking at the sunset or whatever. Wait! Now that I think of it, I'll come with you. Treachery! I, but I want to be on your team. You know, there might just be a way to bring him back. And we might need him to uh, fight that Lavos guy. You know, we need someone in the front line to take all the hits anyway. Nonsense! Gaspar, the guru of time, knows how to restore lost or misplaced time streams. Well, that's fucking convenient. Ah, shit. I'm gonna name him Falco. Because I was just talking about Smash Bros. Yeah, you know what? That's sort of appropriate. And I'll have him join the party. How about that? Uh, some shit like this, maybe? Cool, now he's the party leader. He gets to do... He gets to decide what we as a group do and what our next order of business is. What can I equip him with? He actually starts with some decent equipment. Uh, does the Doom Helm do anything special? No. What about the Raven Armor? No, it's just like pretty good. Okay. I'm gonna give him the Silver Stud. Cutting his MP use is... practical, because he's like a mage. I'm gonna go to the comments and see who's there. Sap lady? The Guru of Time gave me this sapling, but the... <gasps> the cat! Oh my gosh! Uh, hold on. Uh, something about a sapling, but is there any place for it in this desolate new world? What shall I do? Uh, I think you're supposed to tell this person to plant the tree. And then there's a quest that you can do after that, that maybe I'll go to next. Uh, something about the forest in 600 AD. Alright, I'll take good care of it. Who knows, maybe someday it will save our environment. But holy shit, this is, this is Janice's cat. Um... Side note, I think a Janus cat is like literally a cat with two faces, like it has two faces on the same skull, uh, named after the Roman god Janus, who is occasionally depicted as having two faces. Um, but I'm pretty sure this cat's name is Alphador, or something like that. How long do you think it's been since he's seen this cat? Oh my gosh. I'm not crying, you're crying. This is a beautiful reunion right here. This is actually Magus' cat. Um, and if you come back to this area with with Magus not in your party, the cat doesn't enthusiastically follow you around. Gee, seeing you has really made my day. Aw, that's a great compliment. Gotta seize the day. That's French for gotta 16 the day. I saw a suspicious looking person up north on the cape. So that was a dumb joke, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so happy he gets to see his cat again. Kinda reminds me, I am. Um, when I left Kansas City, I, I took two of my cats with me because I thought since I had taken care of them their whole lives that I kind of earned it, but lately I've been feeling a little guilty about taking two cats away from the person I used to live with, my ex-girlfriend, so I don't know. I Honestly, I feel kind of bad about that. Cause I'm just thinking like, what if, what if, what if somebody had left me and taken my two cats? Like, that would have made me super sad. Ugh, I don't know. I, maybe I have like a difficult decision to make about my life, but I'll burn that bridge when I cross it. Anyway, maybe, maybe you guys can tell me what to do in this situation, I don't know. But look, let's play some Chrono Trigger. A moonstone left in a sunlit spot for millennia becomes a sunstone. Hint, hint, you have a fucking time machine. The sun keep of zeal had such a stone. 
Very old stones are required to harvest useful amounts of power. A stranger trying to locate someone passed by after you left. Who, you, who could that be talking about? No one had ever seen the person who came looking for you. Could he be a friend of yours? What? Glad to see you're all recovered. Who were they talking about? Was it Janice or Shala? Yeah, my cat! We're slowly recovering. We've got to start from scratch. Well, hey, you got like a plant. So that's cool. Anyway, um, can I do any shopping? I'm guessing no. Oh wait, there's a save point. That's cool. Sup, you got new stuff? Oh, he does. Uh, yeah, he didn't have any... He didn't have any weapons before. Also, Hurricane. Oh, I can just straight up buy new equipment for my newest character, like, right off the bat. That's cool. I have one Eon suit. Maybe I'll buy a couple of these helmets. Damn, that's expensive! Oh, because I was buying ten of them at a time, not two of them. I thought... For some reason, I hit the up arrow instead of um, left or right to increase the total by 10 rather than um, rather than one at a time. To increase the total to 10, that is. Anyway, I got some equipment, so let's equip it. He doesn't need that shit. He can have an Eon Helm, that's cool. Oh, you know what? Maybe I could go back to... Um, I could go back to uh, the present, and maybe there's new Taban equipment for my friend Weed. We're getting some interference from an enormous gate. It can't be Lavos. Also, how does he know how to drive this thing? Are these types of vehicles common in from you know wherever he be from? Stop! That's Falco. Oh shit! I forgot all about this. The Black Omen rises from the ocean, like right now. Bzz, bzz, it's electrifying so many fish right now, I imagine. Also, can we talk about like how many things we made crash into the ocean in this particular age and time? Like there was that big ass mountain, then there was a whole kingdom of zeal, then there was a blackbird, and then next it's probably gonna be this thing. We're gonna cause so many tsunamis for these people. They're gonna be so sick of tsunamis. Not that... I guess not that you can, like, get used to them. It feels like we're gonna get sucked in there. <laughs> sucked in there! Oh, oh, like a... Like a, um... Tractor beam or something. The ocean... Or gravity. The ocean palace hath risen? Surely it doth beckon us. The undersea palace? This is impossible. Um, it's not. Also, this music is super bitchin'. But hey, let's get out of here. Let's go somewhere else. For example, the present. Back to the future. Finally referenced it. I know you were waiting for, you, for me to make a reference or some shit. Um, I got the safe helm from that place. So let's go visit. Holy shit, the Black Omen. It's in all the ages. I forgot. I forgot, it's in the present as well as the past and the future. This is Weed's house. Oh, you're just in time. Yes, new equipment. You got one Taban suit. It's my finest work. The ultimate in defense for my daughter. Hey, Weed. I'd like to see more of her. I've been making items she'd like. Oh, uh, such as this suit. I bet it looks really good on her. What does it do? Speed plus three, fire guard up. That's insane. And it gives her four more defense than the Eon suit? That's actually really fucking good. Thanks, Dad. Uh, what does the Taban Helm do? Do I need that? Oh, it gives ten magic defense? Yeah, that's amazing. That's amazing! People overuse that word, I think. Uh, it's not actually amazing, but it's pretty damn good. So, I think what we want to do is go to the end of time, do we not? I think we have to talk to this dude. Some shit about an egg. Let's see what he's got. Oh boy. Let's just park. We can park anywhere. There's no cops. Uh, let's disembark. Damn, that's like one of the biggest benefits. That's like one of the best attributes of the end of time. And you can heal yourself for free, because like currency isn't a thing that needs to exist. 
Hey, where's that healthy kid? That's not how you describe someone unless you're a fucking pedophile. Let me tell you that right now. You won't describe a kid as, hey, where's the healthy one? With the radical haircut. Um, dead. At some point, though, we can probably go back. I mean, we have a time machine. This probably isn't going to be too difficult. This is terrible news. I have nothing to give you but this song. It's called Memories of Barf. <laughs> That's an excellent song. Uh, I remember it like it was just the end of time when we f first and second and third met. I wish I could lend a hand. Only the guru of time can help us now. Hey, where have you been? So that's your story. And just look at you now. And just look at me now. You become quite formidable. I don't know what I was quoting there. Is that a song? Heh? The guru of time, eh? Heard of him, of course, but what do you want with him? We've heard he might be the one to bring our barf back. To bring back lost loved ones. It's what everyone wants, except some people want money or like pizza. Barf must be proud. Uh, or, or dead, I guess. To have friends like you. Um, well, you know, while I'm here... Why don't I do some shit like this and fight the dude in the back room? Because I haven't fought Specchio in a long time. Oops, I'm trying to I'm trying to equip here. So what's something that'll boost my magic? The magic scarf, for example. Uh, silver urn. That's fine. Max HP up is good here in this case. Speed might be useful. All right, I'm gonna fight Specchio. Okay, BRB. Oh, shit, he looks different. Did he get a haircut? Hey! Hey! <laughs> like Tingle. Hey! That punk rocker hasn't been coming around lately. Nobody has. I'm fucking lonely. I thought you guys were my friends. Phew! You hauled in a Marlin here, kids. He can use Shadow, which is clearly the coolest. And he could probably teach me a thing or two. <clears throat> Hi, looking for some practice? Yeah, as a matter of fact, that's exactly why I came in here. I hate this music. I hate this music for a battle. Can we please use the regular Specchio theme? Oh good, what's her face absorb some shit? I'm gonna use fire two. Oh, he doesn't have his uh, shadow magic or anything yet. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna haste myself, I believe. That might be a good call. Yeah, that's right, fire is the coolest. Uh, yeah, but what's cool about Falco is he has every element of of magic. He knows fire, lightning, and ice, too. Which is pretty handy if you, you know, uh, come up against enemies who require a specific element to defeat. Hopefully Weed doesn't die here. Okay, cool. She's gonna live. She's gonna live. That's nice. Um, I don't know if Mega Bomb is worth using. Let's try Ice 2. Bam, 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 bam! 500 damage is pretty formidable. Yeah! Use a different element! It's just a big-ass block of ice that crushes him. Uh-oh. Yeah, of course he's gonna hit Falco there. Alright, he did. So I wasted a turn. Um, I'm gonna cure hoops here because I'm pretty sure Mead will be just fine. Yeah, she only took 50 damage. Wait, what the fuck? Hoops died from that? I guess I didn't expect that. But Weed has like crazy fire guard up, so I guess that's why she survived all those fire attacks. All right, I might scoop and then just try again. But her speed is bitching right now. Like, she's going... Her turns are coming really fast. And she's got high magic defense, so she might just be huge in this battle. And win it by her damn self! This music is super appropriate for her right now. Don't hurt me! It's not gonna do that much, Tim. It's gonna be like 15. Nice one, Specchio, you idiot. Fire 2! 
this is how you use fire. You have to spin around a lot before you explode everything in sight. Yes, I actually did it. Man, she took so much. She was a champ right there. She took so many hits. That was most embarrassing. Harumph, don't make a habit of this. Here, this is for you. Healthy choice set. Isn't that a branded name? One magic tab, five full ethers. I am the master of war. Phew, sometimes I scare myself. Okay, that's great and everything, but let's get out of here. Hey! I knew it was him. I knew he was the guy that said hey all the time. Here, take this with you. It's the most important item in the game. An egg? Is it hard-boiled or three-minute? Haha! <laughs> wow, what a jokester that weed is. Let us call that the Chrono Trigger. That's the, na that's the name of the game that we're playing! What a coincidence! It is pure potential. By unleashing a specific course of events, it can have a powerful effect on time. Ask the one who made the tacos, your wings of time, how to hatch it. Like any egg, it represents a possibility. Breakfasts. It may or may not hatch, but the Chrono Trigger gives you the potential to get your friend back. Man, I love egg metaphors. The egg will have an, an effect equal to the effort, the egg effort, you put into your search. No more and no less. Don't forget that. As long as you keep barf in your heart, <clears throat> the day you are dreaming of shall arrive. I get it. It's you, isn't it? Wait a sec. Are you Gaspar, the guru of time? Exactly. Uh, w well, I believe that's what they used to call me ages ago. Got one C trigger! Hell yeah, I got a C trigger. Um, that's cool. Alright, look. I don't have to listen to all this. It may or may not hatch! Okay, look, I'm just trying to restore HP MP and I can't move! Alright, so... What do we do? I guess we have to go to the future to find board the tacos. We have to go to the future to figure out what we're doing. Am I right? Could be wrong about that. 2300 AD, the future. Forward, technically, in time. There's no like visor or yeah, I guess there's like a glass screen over them. Um, but what do I have to do next? I think I have to be here. I think I have to go back to the Keeper's Dome and talk to, um, you know, Gaspar or whatever one this one is. The Pendant Shimmers. Like Cloud's Dress in Final Fantasy VII. Um, oh shit, did I miss something? Yeah, there was a magic tab right there. Was that there the first time I came here? Oh shit, you woke me up! On Death Peak, you will find the power to restore life. But to activate this power, the deceased must be important to the space-time continuum. Can't really say, I guess we'll find out. And you must have a clone identical to that person. It's a pretty specific fucking thing. Only then can a Chrono Trigger work its magic, but like... I don't know if you can just like make a clone. Oh no wait, the dude at the fair can do that. Need a clone? The magician, Nolstein Beckler, could whip one up in the wink of an eye. Beckler loves festivals. Find a festival and there too you shall find Beckler. Who is this mysterious person? How is he known 1300 years in the future? And like he just, you know, he's known for his ability to make a clone of someone? What a weird fucking part of the plot. Man, I like didn't think about how weird this was when I first played this game in seventh grade or whatever. But yeah, like, oh, the Chrono Trigger, it's an egg that can bring someone back to life, but like first you need a clone of them. So like really it only works, it only works with identical twins or like unless you have the money to do some crazy experiment. But like also in the meantime, you know, there's this magician who, you know, everybody knows about who can make a clone. I think, though, um, before you can do this, I might need to earn 40 silver points. So let's beat up a robot. Your favorite robot, everybody. Let's go fight Gato. They call me Gato. I smoke metal joints, baby. Um, 
And yeah, I think he's supposed to look like a cat, right? Because gato means cat in on espanol. Yes, did it. Headshot. Ten experience. We learned a dual tech antipode too. Hell yeah. Thanks, gato. Hey, uh, I did this shit and you earned a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna do this a few times at BRB. All right, I got a bunch of silver points because I used frame skip like a dirty cheater. Let's get out of here and eat this guy's lunch. If you know what I mean? Yum, tastes like chicken. We have that in the past. Anyway, how many silver points? 96, that's the opposite of my favorite number. Okay, I think I do need 40 points if I want to um, get a clone from this guy, right? Whoop, whoop, whoop. I don't have a body, and I'm not attached to anything. Welcome to Norse Norstein. I could have sworn they just called him Nolstein. Beckler's lab. The spine tingling show is about to start. It tingles your spine. So you know, like tingle from um, from Zelda from Twilight. Wind Waker. Hey, so you want a barf clone? Normally I'd never do this, but today I'll make an exception because he's important to the space-time continuum. Challenge me, and I'll give you a clone. The longer you stay in the game, the lower my price will be. Take the challenge. Mimic what you see. L, left arm. R, right arm. Y, laugh, A, surprise. Okay, cool. Y, laugh, A, surprise. Start when you hear the signal. And action. Shit! I fucked it up already. <laughs> I thought he was laughing. You're out of cash. Play long. Wait, seriously? Can I. Did I spend all of my silver points? Uh, let me try this shit again. Did he take all of my silver points? Because that was embarrassing. I'll give you a clone. Take the challenge. Alright, cool. Let's do this. That's not laugh? Oh, it was, I'm an idiot. It's Y is laugh and A is surprise. BRB, okay, let's try this again and not fuck it up. I think Y is laugh and A is surprise, I'm pretty sure. Those are the rules, right? Let's try this again. Okay, cool, normally I'd never do this. Also, um, thing about this is when he says left arm, you have to mirror it, so if, 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 Barf raises his left arm. You're actually raising your right arm because you're facing him. It's the whole thing. Anyway, why is laugh a surprise? Ha! I didn't mess that up. It starts off really easy and I fucked it up twice already, so... I don't know how I did that. Why is laugh? Yes, I remembered it. And then the arms are easy. All right, I should concentrate. Oh, the button input didn't go for a second. I'll take 2,000 gold. Oh, the clone will be at Barb's house. I kept messing up the Y is laugh and A is surprise. Man, I'm bad at this. I think it's because I've had a migraine for literally three days straight, but I don't know. Could be another. Could make another excuse. Where's Barb's mom? Uh. Oh, hello. Is Barf okay? Yeah. Just fine. But we need to borrow his clone for something that's unrelated to, you know, reviving him from the dead. I hope he's behaving. Tell him to be good, all right? Oh, shit. Uh, listen, I, um, I mean... Yes, dear? We'd like to borrow this doll for a bit. Go right ahead, dear. Are you going to have sex with it? Yes, that's what we need it for, and not because he's dead. Bye. Stay out of trouble now. It'd be funny if, like, the Chrono Trigger is a well-known thing, and it's like, oh, you know, and, like, everyone knows that you need a clone to revive somebody. So they're like, oh, uh, you know, we just need this clone, and his mom's like, Wh what why? Anyway, um, I think if we return to the end of time, this guy will tell us what to do. 
guy will tell us. Let's get out of this uncomfortable vehicle. I ain't got no seatbelts. Alright, we got a clone, which is weird, but uh, we did it. Oh my gosh. Okay, maybe we should go back to um, the Keeper Dome and ask that guy what to do. That might be what we have to do. Or the tacos, yes. Oh, this is so tedious and frustrating. Full speed ahead. Nailed it. I know how to drive this thing somehow. I, it's probably got a pretty intuitive uh, interface. It comes with some instructions. It, is, it ain't so hard to fly that. Okay, so... Where was that place? With the crazy mountain! That's a thing that we have to go to later. Is it? No! Oh wait, this is it! This is it, isn't it? The one with the... Ah, shit! The door shocked me. Some crazy static electricity getting out of that time machine. <laughs> It happens to me all the time when I'm driving. Okay, let's talk to this guy again. Hey, uh... Strangely enough, we found a clone. On Death Peak, you will find the power to restore life. But to activate this power, the deceased must be important enough... Okay, and you must have a clone. Enough! The time has come for you to attempt Death Peak. It's the only chance you have of reviving your friend. The last program I've implanted in this creature's memory banks will help you stand up will help you up the mountain. Stand back. Haha! -ha. Wait, so is this the new creature is like a living fucking thing that um I guess the guru of time or whatever like implanted a program into executing program! This is like little sheep dolls or something? With lightning magic, holy shit, executing program, executing program. Oh boy, executing program. Yeah, buckle up, there's like 20 more of those. Oh, okay, never mind. Ah, close the door behind you. The three entities you saw will help you climb Death Peak. By the way, how do you pronounce that? It's been so long since I've spoken with another human being, and I've only ever read the word. This ends my message. Now I must ask you a favor. This creature has executed its program. Please let him sleep. The switch is on his stomach. Oh no. Switch the creature off? I guess. I guess I'll let him... This creature sleeps beyond the flow of time. That's kind of like killing him, right? Is that what I did? I couldn't have at least, you know, scratched new scratch point one last time before his eternal slumber. Uh, anyway, I think we can go to Death Peak, which conveniently is like right here. They expect us to know the names of these geographical features. Walk when the wind dies and hide behind trees when it blows. This whole thing blows, dude. Um, anyway, yeah, I don't know if you can see the wind here, but, like, if you're just, like, out in the open, it'll blow you off, so to speak. Anyway, I think that's for another episode. I'm gonna end the game here. I'm gonna save and end the episode. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching this episode of Chrono Trigger. Until next time, this is Karma Jolt signing off. Tell your friends I'm great. Just wanted to give a quick shout out to all of my Patreon patrons on Patreon. You guys are my only real friends.